Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're going to do a spaghetti squash alfredo with shrimp and broccoli. So first we're going to cut this um, spaghetti squash in half. You do it the long way. Um, this did not, the cut did not go so well, which you will see in a second. But cut it down the middle if you can. Definitely use a good strong knife to get it cut in half and don't hurt yourself. This was kind of a mess up, but we're going to go with it. Whoops, and it fell apart. All right, so inside you'll see there's some stringy stuff and some seeds. You're going to get that all scraped out. First, I started out with some napkins to kind of grasp the um, strings because they're very slippery. Um, and you just want to clean this out the best you can. Spaghetti squash is in that gourd family, like the pumpkin family is very good it's a low carb way to have pasta without having pasta so it's great for that we're going to use a spoon now to scrape the rest of this out try not to scrape too deep because you don't want to um remove any of this actual squash you just want to kind of get this orange stuff out in the seeds So you scrape all that out, put it to the side. It's very slimy and sticky, but get all the all the stuff out of the inside. Let's speed this up a little bit. All right. Once you have it cleaned out, we're gonna take. We're using coconut oil today. For some reason, I was out of oil oil. So um, we're just going to drizzle it a little bit with some coconut oil. Turn the bottle around, girl. That's the Publix coconut oil. You're drizzling it around so your seasonings will stick to the... Pump, the I was going to say pumpkin. Jesus the spaghetti squash we're gonna use a little bit of himalayan pink salt you want to season this before you put it in your oven or today we use the air fryer um on 400 and we did it on roast there's some black pepper season to your sneezing we're going to use some garlic powder because just like your pasta you want your your spaghetti squash to have flavor because if not there's no flavor to it it just tastes like a boiled noodle so that's some onion powder Don't be afraid to season it because, listen, we want this to be full of flavor. I noticed that the inside of that did not have um, seasoning on the side, so that's why we tilted it over <laughs> to get it all done. All right, so let's drop it in the air fryer. 
So I got this air fryer recently. This is the Ghetto Gastro Air Fryer, the Black-owned air fryer people. Um, I will try to link their stuff in the description box. Um, you usually cook this face down. I usually put it in the oven with a little bit of water to steam it and cover it with foil. But we decided to try the air fryer today. So we put it on roast for four on four hundred degrees for about forty five minutes. Isn't this air fryer so dope? It's so nice. I got it at Target if you want to know where it came from. You get it on Target.com because they don't have them in the stores right now. All right, 45 minutes on roast. And start. All right, now we got them out of the oven. And we're just going to take the fork and scrape. That was really hot, guys. It was really stupid to pick it up like that. But <laughs> my fingers was on fire. Anyways, um, you take your fork and just scrape along the the um, spaghetti squash to loosen up the what we're calling spaghetti noodles out of the spaghetti squash. What you see in front of you is Alfredo sauce that I made. I will drop the um, ingredients in the description box so you can make this yourself. All right, so now we're dropping it into the Alfredo sauce. And you wanna get as much as that spaghetti squash out as possible. Welcome back to my channel. All right, let's get into this. This is a spaghetti squash Alfredo. Okay, ignore the burntness. Anyways, I'm sure you've seen in the part of the video when I was cooking this. We ain't gonna be here long. We just came here to taste it. Yeah. Oh. Down to the. Vi okay. So for those that don't know, spaghetti squash is exactly what it says. You see it look like spaghetti noodles. Okay. Yep. See it? Ooh. This, ooh, that bite look good, don't it? It's very hot. Blow it. Don't you burn your mouth. I ain't got that kind of insurance. <laughs> How y'all doing today? I'm sorry. I'm chill. It's been a long day. This is just literally just a taste test. It's hot. I'm stalling. You like your mouth burnt off here. That's a big bone. <laughs> oh. Oh, my. Mm. oh my God. You want a low carb? No, I don't even think there's carbs in spaghetti squash, but I ain't looked it up yet, so don't quote me on that. Mm. Ah! I would like my spaghetti squash to not be this burnt. Don't worry about it. I cooked it in the air fryer today. Um, yeah, I cooked it a little different because. We try not to heat up this oven so much, girl. It's summer here in Florida. For everybody else, it ain't summer yet. But in Florida, down here to the Florida, it's summer already, y'all. It's summer, okay? It's hot. Just like this food. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. I 
did not record the Alfredo sauce. Literally, for those who eat Alfredo sauce out the jar, you need your butt whoop. But I'm gonna give you this recipe in the description box, okay? It's so easy to make your own Alfredo sauce. You won't buy none in the jar after that. Butter, heavy cream, garlic, Parmesan cheese, salt and pepper. That's it, that's all. <laughs> I'm gonna put it in the description, don't worry. But I just wanted to come on here so y'all can see it and taste it with me. Ooh. And it looks like spaghetti noodles, but it's not. It's a whole squash. Mm-hmm. Mm These shoes are comfy. Yeah. Can you give me some ice water, please? <laughs> there is so much happening in the background. I can't stay off in the back. It's already watered in it. It's just in the back. I'm going to stay on here long because I got a date with WTF with the family tables in 30 minutes. So I got to get done, y'all, so I can get ready for my date. Mm -hmm. Make sure y'all tune in to WTF with the family tables, um, coffee and donuts in the morning, and you'll hear about our date. 6 a.m. Central, 7 o'clock Eastern Time. Good, good. I said I was just going to come out here and taste it, but it's good. <laughs> I didn't put enough broccoli in my boot. Let me dry the boot. Anyway. Oh, you know what I'm saying? I need to see. Mm, 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 mm. I just, I left here for a second, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> Mm. It's okay. I'm just recording a video. It's fine. This is real life, y'all. So I hope y'all are having a mar marvelous Monday. Um, also check out, um, Annabelle TV. Um, I was on her live earlier today. I'll put the link in the description box. She is doing lives during the day. And we get on there and chit and chat about all kinds of things. This one was a fun one for me. I met some new people. which I will also link in the description box below. Listen, we ain't gonna be here all day. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all so very, very much to all my new subscribers. I usually be on here longer, I promise. But this was a um, just a taste test because I gotta go. I have a date, so I don't wanna be late for my date with Miss Tangier. This boat was inspired by MRTV. Maria made a. Did she do spaghetti? Yeah. I 
think she did spaghetti. I'm sorry. I got, I'll find a video and I'll put it in the description box. But it reminded me about spaghetti squash. And I was like, oh, we ain't made that in a while. So she inspired it. So Maria, here's your special bite just for you. Blow it. It's hot. It's hot. Blow it. Ooh, it's so hot. But yeah, she inspired this book. And I did mine in the air fryer. She did not. And I recommend you do this in the oven. And because then your boat won't look so wooden. <laughs> my water machine making all that noise in the background yeah in the microwave like I told y'all this is real life anyways I love you and there's nothing you can do about it I'll see you on the next video here one more bite bye y'all